Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, I would like to discuss about some of the uh, things that you need to learn before coming here uh, to do masters in data science. So, but, but before that, I would like to make one thing very clear is you don't really need to know anything. You can be from pharmaceutical background, you can be from management background without having any coding experience. You can come here and you can do just fine. But the thing is here, the master is for just one year and you need to learn a lot of concepts in just one year. So you will have to put lot of extra effort and if you're planning to do part-time job then maybe it will be a little bit hectic for you to do part-time job so what i would suggest you is if you have time before coming here uh, learn few of the things and that's exactly what i'll be discussing in this video and i will try to put some of the resources as well in the description uh, so that you can check out those resources to learn and it's completely free so yeah that's what i'll be discussing in this video but again moving uh, before moving further please uh, go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming cradle family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and also give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking this video because it keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys so yeah with that being said let's start a discussion so the first thing is learn any programming language it can be any programming language whichever you like but uh, if i have to uh, suggest you something it's better to learn python because python is uh, widely used in the data science industry um, and also if you have time you can brush up upon R but if you are very new to uh, programming I would suggest uh, to stick with just one language it can be Python it can be R in my particular course uh, we had both Python and R I was very new to R uh, but then I knew uh, programming languages other programming languages and also I was very proficient with Python so it didn't take really long for me to pick up R it took like hardly uh, three to four days so yeah if you know uh, programming beforehand it will really help you to pick up any language uh, which is being covered in your course so yeah that is there uh, so the yeah, first thing is uh, programming language and uh, python is the preferred one for me uh, you can learn any whichever you want but if i have to suggest some of the resources uh, links i will leave in the description but uh, there is this uh, python tutorial or something like that uh, directory uh, or uh, repository on my github so you can follow that for the basics of python because there i have uh, created notebook with a uh, very good explanation and uh, you will be able to learn about uh, python programming basics uh, very well so yeah i will leave the link again in the description or if you want to see a uh, video tutorial you can follow Corey Sheffer's youtube channel so that is again there uh, so yeah the first thing is uh, programming now uh, the next concept is math stats because without math stats, you cannot do data science or machine learning or deep learning because the backbone is maths. So, uh, yeah, and the concepts like linear algebra, calculus, uh, probability, matrix manipulation. So, yeah, things like that you need to learn and uh, it will help you to understand concepts in a very uh, less time. So, because the thing is, uh, when we watch the video lectures, uh, professors use some different terminologies. So, let's say PDF or maybe CDF something like that so if you have a little bit knowledge about it maybe you don't know the full concept about it but then if you know a little bit about it it, it will not sound alien to you and uh, you will be able to you will feel like it's okay it's a familiar concept and you will not get alarmed and uh, you will try to listen to it carefully and then hopefully you will be able to pick that thing in a much depth so that's the idea behind it you need not be absolute best with all the concepts you just need to have a little bit of idea so that uh, when you hear those things in the video lecture you don't have to keep on repeating it again and again uh, and uh, if you just if you are watching a video lecture or if you're just attending in a class then obviously you cannot ask a professor to repeat it again and again so that's the thing so yeah uh, if you know uh, these concepts in maths uh, it will again help you and there are two very nice channels uh, one is uh, statfest and the other one is three brown one blue or maybe three blue one brown i think three blue one brown so i will leave the links again in the description so don't forget to check in check that out uh so yeah those two channels are really nice for maths and stat uh next thing is um i mean you don't really need anything else apart from this because these things are uh, pretty much everything that you need but uh, also for interview part because once you will be done with your masters you will be looking for a job and in some of the jobs they ask for data structures and algorithm so yeah you will probably need to learn that and when you come here and you start your course you will not get time to learn about data structures and algorithms so i would suggest uh, brush up upon that as well 
or if you're very new uh, you can watch uh, some of the videos and, and i know uh, there are very less uh, tutorials on uh, data structures and algorithm using python so that is again a thing but if i am able to find some good resource uh, where they are covering uh, data structures and algorithm using python i will again share it in the description and uh, hopefully it will help you so i think these are the things that you need to know but if you think there are there is something else which we should know or which you think uh, might be essential or if you're confused whether you should learn that or not you can again ask me in the comment section i'll be more than happy to reply and uh, yeah that is what uh, i wanted to discuss in this video and if you want to learn data science and if you are into reading and things i have a data science notes you can download it from the description and uh, you can also join telegram group where we don't have many people now because the previous uh, telegram group was closed because of copyright issue uh, but then yeah uh, we are still we are again uh, building that community and uh, we are helping each other so you can again uh, go there and you can ask and if you are coming for masters there are many people in that group who are uh, looking to do masters in the uk so maybe you will find someone uh, in the university where you are applying for so yeah uh, you can join that community and maybe you can make some network before coming here uh, so yeah this is it uh, what i want to discuss in this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys uh, so yeah uh, see you in the next video bye happy learning